Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So I have been using the Wondershare Filmora from a long time to edit my long and the short videos. And I have my own reasons to use it as it has a friendly user interface. And now it gives you tons of features including the AI that makes it perfect and one of the best video editor in 2024. So today in this video guys, I will be sharing some best feature added in the Filmora 14 and how this can be helpful to you to edit your videos like a pro. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Now in order to download the Filmora 14, you will have to come to their official website. The link will be in the description. And this is available for the Windows, for the Mac, for the iOS and for the Android devices. And let's start with the first feature that is the multi-camera editing. And this feature is like a gift for the people who want to work on multiple camera angle or do any kind of podcast where they have to show all different angle of the videos. So let's say if you have some videos with different angle or any kind of podcast video or any similar videos, then first you have to import it. Like I have already imported four videos here. Once imported, now you have to select them all without dragging them to the track here. Select it, make a right click on it. And here you will find a new option by the name create multi camera clip. Just make a one click here. Now give a name here to your project, whatever name you want to give, choose the synchronization method. And in case if you are using a high resolution video, 4K videos or the long video, then make sure you check this option of auto create proxy file. And here we go. So now you can see all the four clips have been imported here. Now exactly how it will work. You need to go to the very beginning of the video here. And then you have to decide that which clip you want to show first, then which clip you want to show and accordingly you have to select it. So let me play the video here. So first I want to show this video. So I will keep this selected. Then I will play the video. Now I want to show this one. So I will click on it and it will automatically split the clip. Next I will show this one. So I will click on it and then I will show this one. So now I will click on this one. And you can see now that all the clips are being splitted automatically. So now let's play the video on the full screen and see that how exactly it works. Alright, so this is how it will be working. I just showed you a small demonstration. Now it will all up to you how quickly and what kind of video you are exporting here and you are using this filter or this AI feature. Not only this, in future if you want to make any kind of changes then also you can do that. You can adjust the video clip. Alright, there are many other changes that you can do if you want to apply any kind of transition then you can also apply that. So an amazing feature guys and if you want to do any kind of editing for the podcast or any kind of multi-angle videos now you can do that very easily using the multi-camera editing feature in Filmora 14. And now let's move with the next feature that is the planet tracking. This is another amazing feature for which many creators used to wonder including me. But now you can have this feature in Filmora 14 and with this you can do motion graphics, any kind of text animation or image or logo animation. Let me quickly show you. So this is my video and here you can see a signboard and let's say if you want to replace this signboard with your own name or with any other kind of text or with any kind of logo then you can now easily do that. So go back to the very beginning of the video from where the signboard is start. Then click on the video section here. Go to the AI tool and within the AI tool now here you will find a new option by the name planner tracking. You will have to enable this option. Once you enable it you find two different more options auto and advanced. I will go with the advanced here. So I will click on it. Now here on the video you will find a shape here. Now you have to adjust it according to the size of the signboard. So I will quickly adjust it. Just drag the corner of the angle and adjust accordingly so that it should match the best. And once you are done on the right hand side in the accuracy make sure you have selected to high and then click on the analyze here so that it can quickly analyze. And in the analyzation it may take some time depending that what kind of PC configuration you have. So wait for some time. Alright, so once done, now again you have to go back to the video clip and create a shape of rectangle here. Change the color of the rectangle matching the signboard here. Then in the timeline, just expand this rectangle element till the video clip here. 
All right, so once done, now click on the video clip here. Then on the right hand side under the planet tracking, you have to click on the link element drop down and choose it to rectangle. And the moment you click on it, you will find the rectangle has been gone smaller here. So what you have to do, you need to select it. Then from the right side again, you have to scale it and scale it properly so that it should just cover entire signboard here. Okay, now it seems to be perfect. All right, now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to add any kind of logo, text, whatever you want to show on the signboard. Now here for the example, I'm just taking a text here. So I will go to the title section and take any kind of text here. And then I will take this one. And I can replace this with my own channel name Crown Geek. Now this can be anything, whatever you want to take. And just position it correctly so that it should look very natural. Alright, now we are good to go. So if I play the clip here, so you can see that it works absolutely perfect. And so on, you can use any kind of animation, you can use any kind of text animation using this feature. So now let's move with the third feature guys that is the AI sound effect and here you can create your own sound effect now within the Filmora only which can be any sound effect or any kind of background music as well. So from the left and top you have to click on the audio section then click on AI sound effect. Now it will ask you describe the sound effect you want to create so just give you prompt here and it will generate the sound effect for you depending that what kind of sound effect you are looking for. Now for example I will type here crowd cheering and once I click on generate uh, with a few seconds only it will give me some sound here you can listen to that. We can give some another prompt here like rain and then if I click on the generate it will give me very similar sound effect to rain and so on you can give your own prompt according to your requirement and it will quickly generate the sound effect for you. This can be any kind of transition or anything that you want to create. So amazing feature guys that now you get in the Filmora 14 only. So no need to go to any third party website to download any type of sound effect. Now you can do this everything within the Filmora only. And next we have the AI color palette. Now with this new feature of the AI color palette, you can give the color effect of any kind of a movie to your own video. So this is my clip here. And let's see if I want to give a theme or a color palette of any uh, movie. Then what I have to do here, I need to select my clip here. Then from the right hand side, I have to click on the color tab. Then under the basic only, if I scroll down, I will find a new option here by the name AI color palette. Enable this option. Then you have to click on add. Then it will ask you the reference that give the reference of that particular movie clip from where you want to grab the color effect and want to give to your own clip. Okay, so this can be any movie. So you need to get that file. Then you have to click on the local file. Select the file from here. And I have a clip here from a Hollywood movie. So I will select it. Once selected, you can check your reference video here. So this is a clip here that I have taken from a Hollywood movie. And I want to give the same effect of this video to my own video here. All right, so once selected, now you have to click on generate and then click on save and apply. And boom, now you can see the color effect has been changed and been applied to my current selected video. Now if I show you the difference here, so I can just disable the AI color palette. So this was the video before. And this is the video now. Hopefully you can notice the changes here. Now this will also depend on the quality of the video that you have selected, how it was before and how you have made after the effect. A very useful feature and if you are shooting any video for the movie or making any kind of a small film or want to give the effect of a movie to your own videos then you must surely try this feature and now next we have another amazing feature by the name smart auto reframe that is a new feature being added to the filmora 14 and with this feature it's so easy to convert your full frame video into any other resolution like for the youtube short video or for the tiktok or for the instagram reel so again, you have to import your video here. So I have a video here in the full resolution. Once selected, now you have to make a right click on it. And here you get a new option by the name auto reframe. Click on it. Then it will give you the preview. And on the right hand side, it will ask you the aspect ratio. So you can choose the ratio according to your need, depending that what kind of video you want to create. So if you want to create for the Instagram, then you can go with one by one. 
or short for 16 by 9 so choose your requirement here choose the resolution motion speed you can keep to auto and then click on analyze and it will start analyzing and it won't take much time and bingo now you can see that it has automatically reframed the object in the video so if i play the video you can see that now in case in between if you find that it has not automatically detected properly then you can pause the video and reframe the size from the preview here all right but on my end it seems to be perfect so i won't make any changes once you are satisfied then you have to click on add to timeline and boom so now you can see the video has been now successfully converted from the long video to the short video resolution and it has just worked absolutely perfect without any kind of problem so very useful feature for the people who want to quickly convert their long video into the short video for the youtube short for the instagram or for the tiktok or for any other platform now if you have noticed some kind of issues with the video quality here then probably it's not because of the filmora or any video editor it's because of the video you have selected but now here only comes our another feature where you can enhance your video using the new feature of filmora 14 that is ai video enhancer so let me show you right now this is the video and in order to apply the ai video enhancer simply select the video from the beginning then on the right hand side under the video go to the ai tool option and here you find a new option by the name ai video enhancer enable this and then click on generate now it may take some time depending that what is the size of your video so just wait until it's all been done and boom guys now you can see the difference here it's been a huge difference in the quality here and you can see the video has been really enhanced now and i can find the huge difference you can see the preview by your own self the video is much smoother much clear and looks fantastic now once you are done with the changes here you can even export this to the high resolution so click on export choose the resolution that you want to choose the frame rate and then you can export the video okay and now let's move with the last feature of the wondershare filmora 14 i'm sorry this is not the last feature of wondershare filmora but the last feature for this video as there are many other features that you have to check your own cell as i cannot cover the entire feature in one video and this feature name is guys the ai face mosaic and many creators have the issues to blur the faces of any character in the video they shoot it where it take a lot of effort but now with the filmora 14 the ai face mosaic feature will be helping you to blur the faces of any object in just one click so what you have to do you need to import your video drag to the timeline so in this video guys you can see that i have two faces here so what i have to do i will click on the effect option on the top and then you have to search for the ai classic mosaic simply drag this to your video then click on this magic ai button here and it will take some time and you can see the report here that the green circle is going on so you will have to wait until the uploading of this effect has been applied properly at the moment it will be applied now you will find the faces are being automatically blurred so you can see that how smoothly and how perfectly it work here and not only this guys there are many more things that you can do like click on this magic icon of the ai that you will find in the timeline only and under the detected faces it will show you that what all the faces are being detected and are blurred now in case if you don't want to blur all the faces then you can choose the face that you want to blur so let's say if i want to blur this one and i will uncheck this one now you can see that the one face has been automatically blurred and this face has been removed from the blur effect and so on if you have a video with multiple faces then you can use the same method to quickly blur the face of the video within one click only a part of that you get many other options like you can manage the strength you can manage the feather what kind of opacity you want to keep everything you can manage from this only so these were the best seven feature of the vendor share filmora however there are many other features like the ai translation with the lip sync ai voice enhancer smart bgm generation smart scene cut social video planner and if you need a video on these topic as well then let me know in the comment section guys and go ahead try this wondershare filmora 14 right now if you really need a video editing like a pro 
and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye